Hey guys, while I was doing research for a video that I was planning on doing today, I came across something huh, so horrible, I just had to, had to make a quick video about it. So, I was researching why Governor Cuomo forced nursing homes to take COVID patients uh, during the height of pandemic. It was, it was the dumbest, the most inept, the most uh, ridiculous move that any any politician made it was the dumbest move any politician made during this pandemic and uh you know i just i know these corrupt politicians these lifelong politicians you know and it's you always got to follow the money so i wanted to see what money was involved and and, and i'll go to that in my in my video about how cuomo profited off the death of all these elderly but as I'm researching that, um, why Cuomo would put these, force these nursing homes to take the elderly, I came across some other information. So in 2018, during an election year, um, the Catholic Church had a health care charity called Fidelis, and it insured a lot of poor, needy folks in New York City. It was very helpful to the state. And then the Catholic Church uh, was going to sell it that year. And it was, the sale was like $3 billion. And um, they were going to use that money to create an even bigger charity for the needy. You know, this was one of the best charities in New York. I mean, it was really helping people. And uh, Cuomo pressured... The church, he strong armed them, and 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 I know they do this all the time up north. You know, I'm from Jersey. I see how these Democrat politicians work, but it really angers me. He did that to our church, and he did it to a nonprofit. Uh, so what he told them was, "We will not approve this sale." You know, our regulate uh, regulators have to approve this sale. We will not approve this sale unless you give us two billion dollars. Of the sale, so out of the three billion, I actually think it was three point seven billion. Cuomo wanted two billion, and he said, it, and, "And so, the church was like, well, it might not be worth it for us to do it." He said, "Well, then, if you don't do it, we're going to seize eighty percent of your revenue that you have in reserve. Either way, we're getting your two billion from you." And so they said they had no choice. Uh, they worked out a deal where they gave them $1.75 billion up front, and then the other uh, amount they paid over time. And then what Cuomo did, he took that money and put it into a health care fund, health care transformation fund, but written into the law was his budget director could dip into it for any reason at any time and use it for anything. So, you know, during an election year, how helpful is that? You know, these Democrats will target groups. Hey, you know, you help me out, I help you out. And uh, so basically, the corrupt apostate governor of New York stole $2 billion from the Catholic Church. Uh, I thought you needed to know that. And, uh, you know, I had to dig deep, you know, had to look up newspapers, Wall Street Journal, New York Post, New York Times, and piece it all together. But it's there if you want to look it up. The mainstream media, you know, they're all left-wingers, so they're going to cover for their left-wing politicians. They're not going to talk about it, but it's there. If you dig deep, you see just how evil this man is. So God bless, and uh, stay informed.